Yesterday, folks, we told you about Papa John's Pizza pledging a half a million dollars to Bennett College in North Carolina. This is crucial because Bennett is under academic probation and could lose their accreditation by February 1st if they do not raise $5 million. Also, uh, today, Alpha Phi Alpha, my fraternity, gave $31,000 uh, to Bennett College as a result. Derek, is your frat giving anything? I don't know. Okay, you might want to check I text somebody. I'll let you know. What, what, what was that little group you were? <laughs> that little group you remember of? <laughs> you got this. I, I can't remember that little group. I can't remember that little group. This one is a five. Oh yeah, that's that's a little group. Okay, yeah. That's right. Y'all y'all can rustle up at least five thousand. Joining us right now is the president of Bennett College, Dr. Phyllis Dawkins. Doc, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, I see you there with your uh, Stand with Bennett shirt. Uh, first and foremost, before we get to in terms of where you are with the fundraising, how did Bennett even get to this point to where you have? less than two weeks to raise this money uh, to save Bennett. How did we get to this point? Well, on December 11th of 2018, uh, after uh, uh, defending Bennett to our crediting body, SACS, um, we were told at the, at the end of that conference that, uh, that we would be removed from membership in SACS. And so we were surprised because we had a good year last year. We ended the year with a surplus, a clean audit. In fact, we've had five years of clean audits. Uh, we ended the year with an increase in enrollment by 16%. We also had an increase in retention by 9%. We went from 50, 44% last year uh, to 53% this year. And so we had a good year last year. But they looked at us over a period of time, over the last 11 years, uh, looking at what we call a UNAP score, uh, unrestricted net asset score, and that calculation score was high. And so to that extent, they declared that we had, uh, that we were financially not stable. And so we have until February 1st to impact that calculation and bring down that score to zero. Hence why we need $5 million by February 1st. And, and and where do you stand right now? How much have you raised thus far? You've had uh, celebrities, of course, going on social media, uh, using the hashtag Stand with Bennett. You've had other folks raising money. We talked about the Papa John's donation of $500,000, uh, Alpha Phi Alpha, their, their, their donation. Other groups have been donating. So where do you stand now? Yes, uh, as of today, we're close to $3 million dollars. Now, we had a good day yesterday. We had the Papa John's donation of $500,000 in the morning. In the evening, we had Z. Smith Reynolds Foundation. They also gave us $500,000. And throughout the day today, we've had uh, ministers, pastors, or organizations dropping off checks all day long, as well as our online donations are up since December the 11th. Uh, I have for, first of all, one of the reasons why I created the hashtag HBCU Giving Day uh, is because when I had the president of the Florida A&M um, uh, alumni group on the show, he talked about FAMU alumni only giving 5%, only 5% of their graduates giving. Uh, uh, I, I, when I met with the Wilberforce, former president, when he got there, they were getting 1% of their alumni was giving it was up to 9%. The Howard University president he's been on, when he got there, undergraduate giving uh, was 3.7%. Now it's up to 10%. Uh, for Bennett, uh, what is the percentage of your alumni giving back to the university? Uh, our percentage is high. As you know, the national uh, giving in terms of the percent of alumni that give at historically black colleges is between 10 and 12%. At Bennett College, we have remained in the top three in terms of the uh, top three of 101 accredited HBCUs that give. Uh, our alumni give between 40 and 50%. That's pretty high. So we are very proud of our alumni giving. But, but so what do you do though to uh, let's say you do hit that $5 million, because uh, I remember when Dr. Julianne Malvo, uh, when she was president at uh, Bennett College, I always had a radio show on WVON uh, in Chicago. I got this emergency text from her saying, we're trying to keep some young women in college. Uh, we've got to get $30,000. Uh, other, uh, I've had those other calls before. Uh, and so what is it going to require 
uh, to stabilize Bennett. So you're not in this mad rush, this mad dash for cash uh, to save the university. Yes, well, we can't go through this again. This has been a tremendous project, and we are proud of all the people that have given to Bennett, including the AKAs, the Deltas, uh, the Alphas. We're waiting on the Megas to get. Okay? All right, De 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 Derek, Derek, what's going on? You got the president of Bennett sitting right there saying the Omegas haven't done anything. Tom Jonah, Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley, all three of y'all Omegas. What the hell is up? Oh, man. Yeah, they are planning. We've heard from them. We know they plan to give. Really? And so we're waiting on them to move forward. And yeah, they, they, are, they, they normally late. I got you, Dr. Stalkers. I got you. <laughs> Okay, and Ricky did a pledge of thousand dollars. Okay, so so we're proud of the of, uh, of the pledge. Uh, but what we can't do, we cannot be here again. So we're trying to raise a minimum of five million dollars. We hope to su uh, supersede that. It would be great if we double that. Uh, that's the minimum we need to support our appeal, to ensure that we are accredited now and to, and into the future. We are accredited currently. We're accredited by SACS. At the same time, we are seeking another accreditation through another organization called TRATS. So I just want to make it clear, especially to all the students that have applied to Bennett for the fall, fall 19, we have over 4,000 applications. And so to those students intending to enroll in Bennett College, we are accredited and we will remain accredited. So what if you don't raise the five million by February 1st, what then happens? Because I've saw I've seen other reports saying Bennett will close its doors. So what happens if you don't have five million by February 1st? We let's say let me let me restart that. We will have five million dollars by February first. We will get that money. Uh, then we uh, go before the SATS accrediting body on February 18th. Uh, we will be successful with our appeal. But if we are not successful uh, by whatever may happen, if we are not successful, then we will enter into a lawsuit and we also will maintain our accreditation. Got it. In the meantime, in February, at the same time we are trying to defend ourselves, we will also seek accreditation in another group called tracks. All right, then. Uh, well, mm -hmm. Dr. Dawkins, I certainly appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Uh, give the website uh, where folks can give. We'll, Bennett will be our HBCU giving day for this day. What's the website where people can give? Just like Alphas, we, I want you to give to www.bennett.edu uh, and look for the Stand With Bennett campaign. But if you just go to our site, or you can uh, give through our cash app, Stand With Bennett, our cash app, or you can give uh, by texting to give. You can text the word BELLS with capital letters B-E-L-L-E-S to 444-999. Uh, so, and if, you, if you're if my age or, or older, many people still like the right to text or to donate online. And so there are many different ways that you can give to Bennett College. All right, Dr. Phyllis Dawkins, we appreciate it. Thank you so very much uh, for joining us. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.